Javelin to me, you know, most people think that it's just throwing a stick. For me, it's much more. It's, it's a lifestyle. My name is Eric Lyon. Uh, I'm a student here at Bangor High School. I'd say Bangor as a whole is a very uh, different community. You know, as our high school, I think that we have a lot of school spirit. I think that uh, like all our kids coming out to sports games is really important. And even back in middle school, you know, when I used to play middle, ba middle school basketball and back then, you know, even all these people coming out to support. So I think like the one word to define Bangor as a community is very supportive. So javelin is the throwing of a 800 gram metal rod. So basically you, uh, you run down the runway and then uh, just throw, trying not to foul, not to go over the line, throw it out of bounds and trying to cover the most distance that you can. My personal best is 190 feet, three inches. Um, to put that on a, like a, a level that you guys would understand, I'd say the average throw for a high schooler is 130 feet around. Uh, in our league, you know, I've always been the best in the league and just, you know, having a higher mark than others. But I mean, when you get to that state level, that's when you start seeing marks that are around mine. And then same with national as well. So what is it like having Eric Lyon on your javelin team? It's pretty great. He really pushes us all and he helps us all work really hard. Um, we're really excited to see where he goes, like with Oregon and stuff. There you go. Nice throw. Nice Good throw. throw. Oh, yeah! Oh, so I'd say the end of my sophomore year is when I started realizing that I could uh, go to college for it. Um, I started getting looks from a couple different schools, getting contacted by coaches, and then that, that is when I started realizing, you know, I'm actually, like, I actually have a gift for this. And uh, ever since then, I mean, it's been history. My sophomore year, I, um, I was throwing and I tweaked my back a little bit. Uh, it was the summer of my sophomore year. And you know, I mean, it, like, it ended my throwing for the rest of the year, but I only had a, like, a few more meets. Um, but you know, it started feeling better. And then junior year came around, end of junior year at nationals, I tweaked it again in warmups and you know, I wasn't able to throw to the best of my ability. And now in senior year, uh, it's come back, you know, I've been in pain throwing all year, but I think, you know, my, my end goal is still the same. I, I want to play some nationals. I'm doing everything that I can to keep my back healthy, to be out of pain. You know, I like, I'm doing workouts, I'm strengthening my back. I'm doing everything that I can to do that. Um, but you know, it's, it's hard you know, going down that runway and knowing that this throw is gonna hurt a lot. You know, I, I, I hit the throw and immediately feel the pain, but you know, that messes with my head a little bit running down the runway. You know, I kind of lose confidence, but through it all, you know, I've kind of like, ever since sophomore year, I've kind of learned, I think the, the injury has helped me learn to overcome this. You know, even though I'm still going through the pain, Mentally, I'm prepared, you know. Mentally, I'm focused on one thing, and that's thrown far. So, I mean, through it all, my coaches, my family, everyone that I know has been really supportive. But, you know, I think the, the main thing that has gotten me through this is my religion. Uh, you know, I, I always pray about it. I always go to church and, you know, try to focus on, like, what message can really relate to me and how I can use that through Javelin to push me to throw further.
next, I will be continuing my throwing career at the University of Oregon. I just committed there about two months ago. And, you know, I mean, I visited there. I just kind of fell in love with it right away. You know, the facilities, the school, they had my major, which is advertising. They're best in the world for that. Um, you know, the coach, he was, I mean, probably the best coach in the country. You know, his track record is just phenomenal. And me and him just clicked right away. And I, I just couldn't see myself thrown anywhere else. And I mean, I, I'm glad to call that my home for the next five years. You know, I'd like to thank uh, Coach Hopstetter, Coach Hartzell. You know, both of them have helped me out so much, you know, pushing me to throw the javelin and then obviously teaching me how to throw the javelin. I mean, I wouldn't be where I am without them. Uh, next, I'd like to thank my family. You know, they've always been so supportive through it all, just helping me through all my mental hardships, through all the hardships, through track, through everything. Uh, I'd like to thank the coach at Oregon, Coach Witsit, for presenting me with the opportunity uh, to come out there and throw for him. You know, I mean, that's it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, something I'm never gonna forget, something I'm gonna love. Um, and then finally, I'd like to thank uh, two Two of my other coaches, uh, Barry Kramis and John Kochmore, you know, um, they really perfected my form and just got me the place where I am. You know, everyone that I've mentioned, I wouldn't be here without, you know, and I, I'm so, so thankful for all of them.